Hello ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes, I am Duty Boy, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Survival Series. On this episode, we are going to continue the work that we were doing in the last episode, which is building a port on the edge of the city that I am gradually constructing in this area. As you can see, I've done some additional work between this episode and the last episode. I dug out all the sand, stone, and dirt blocks from underneath the entire length of the wall. Then I extended the wall below the water level. I dug out the stone floor and replaced it with dirt and sand for a more natural look. Then I dug out the sandbars and other land masses floating just offshore. Finally, I used the materials collected to fill and raise the shoreline level behind the wall. On the previous episode, I thought that I might actually slab this entire area. I no longer think that that's feasible. As you can see, this entire island would have to be slabbed over or maybe just this entire area and it's far too great of a use of resources. So I think instead what I'm gonna do is after I'm done with today's build, I'm gonna tear out this top level and just replace it with cobblestone and a mixture of other stone textures. So just to tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to break up this actually rather straight and plain looking wall that I've built. I'm going to add some uh, different areas with different textures and uh, different patterns. I'm also going to add a walkway, a little stone walkway that covers this area, along with wooden docks that go to either side, and then a long wooden pier that extends out uh, quite a ways so that we can build a boat and build it next to the pier. So I'm going to start get started by building a little bit of this on camera and a little bit of it off. And I'm going to make the main opening um, a little bit catty corner from this house. So the main pier I think I'm going to put in this area and I've used this little torch to mark out where the center of where it's going to go and I think I'm going to need so this is two, four, and then six. Yeah I'm going to make it six wide and I'm going to have a stone platform that I'm going to outline at first with these smooth stone bricks. I'm going to have it going out this way at least four so that we can have a uh, three by three actually i may make it like six by six just so that it's square okay sounds good all right so that's six on that side and then we'll come across this way just to frame it all right and then we're gonna go back in over here Now I'm dropping down into the water and I'm just going to bring the corners of this down to water's edge. Alright, and then on this level we're going to have a cobblestone platform but surrounded in these uh, smooth stone blocks. So how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. We'll just do six on each side in order to gain a kind of symmetry. Uh, I'm not able to get up on top of this, so put a little thing there so that I can get up. Thank you. All right, and then we're gonna fill the rest of this area with uh, cobblestone. All right, so we'll have this ledge come back in to the wall like this. And then we'll fill all of this with cobblestone. Not that high though, but just this level. And then we will have stairs. Let's see, we'll have one, two. Okay, so we just need to bring it back to here. And then we can have cobblestone stairs coming down from that level. All right, and now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, so now I've got the platform all framed up, and of course I need to tear out the brick, the valuable brick behind it, fill it in with stone, and take it all the way down to this level down here. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so I got the little platform built. I've got everything all laid out. Okay, so now with uh, some spruce slabs and some dark oak logs, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out the pier, the wooden pier that's gonna uh, go all the way out into the, uh, past the sandbar here, definitely to the depths. So I'm gonna come out a full, like at least, hmm, I think maybe, four and then on the fifth one we're going to erect a log now unfortunately i think the uh, conduit might have to be moved sooner than later but i'll go ahead and just throw this in here and uh then i can tear that out at another point yeah yeah i think that's looking okay okay and then uh off to the side here we're obviously going to have to uh establish like another little pier that runs out the side here so even though I'm bobbing in the water here I'm going to carefully very carefully try to put some uh, spruce slabs <laughs> on the side here with mixed results obviously all right so four there four in between yeah it's looking pretty good all right, now to finish up over here. All right, so there is the first little section of pier going in. And again, I'm gonna take it all the way out there to where it gets into the deep. So I grabbed a boat just to make sure that we are on track here, that we are gonna be able to dock our boat here. And, uh, oh gone completely under it. Probably not good. However, but if I do pull right up to here, yeah, I can get right out of the boat. And that's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty helpful. All right, let's see how it is to dock the boat on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you just roll right up to it and stop. Yeah, and then when you disembark, you're right on top of it. All right, so now we're going to figure out just exactly how far we want this pier to go out. It helps that I'm looking down, so now we're getting into the deep area, and we should probably go a bit past there. And we'll just kind of stop there. Oh, yeah, wow. That is a long pier. It goes out almost as long as that wall over there. All right, there we go. Looks like our pier is all complete. Uh, we'll probably, next up, I think I'm going to add some lights. I've got some temporary torches down here just to keep the place from spawning monsters. Uh, we've got a little berth over there and I'm gonna build another little dock that basically goes around that corner and stops right there. All right, so I've added this little corner dock here and again, I'm gonna come over here and add a line of trap doors as a way to get in and out of the water. Yeah, I've uh, got some uh, kelp broke under here, but uh, cool, cool. All right, got this little dock going and yeah, we put another boat in the water here. All right, guys, time to get quite serious about my lighting. So I think if I move just over just to the corner of the log that I'm standing on, I can take this, should be able to take this up. Yeah, so one, two, three. And then if I do four, no, that's just not high enough, is it? Nope. All right, so, hmm, I'd have to jump up there and then put another one there and then come over now we can get this out of the way. All right, so I've got some lanterns I can put in my hand here, and voila. All right, pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll put another one of those right here and right there. All right, looking lovely, looking lovely, very nice. Ah, hmm, this area is very dark. I wonder if it might be all right just to 
hang a lantern from the bottom of this. Does that look okay? Does that look too weird? Should I put it on the top maybe? Yeah, like a little torch. All right, so what is the light levels looking like here? I'm just gonna pull up my debug and check. Looks like the light level is good, but oh, over here it's like six, seven. Yeah, this has turned into a whole spawning ground for monsters right there up against this wall. So we're gonna have to put lights out here and over here. <laughs> oh, didn't get to that one fast enough. That's unfortunate. If I can kill these two things. Yeah, not bad. I don't know. A little janky looking and hanging two different directions, but I don't mind it so much. All right, I think we're going to have to do the uh, wall torches just like I had before. Yeah, oof, pretty bad. All right, how are we doing on our lights here? Yeah, pretty good. All right, so we got everything above seven. We want it to be eight or higher. So that's good. All right, so then we get back into sevens over here. So let's see. Oh, looks like I am out of fences. All right, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Looking very well lit. Hmm, guys, I don't know. I put lanterns on every block here and it, it looks a little bit static so I thought maybe I would uh, alternate them a bit but if you look at my light settings the client light line there uh, you know as as I'm going underneath them of course it's great but then if we don't have a light on here then this turns into a seven and something's gonna spawn here so I thought you know even if I alternated them you know back and forth that would be good but the light isn't even reaching over here Oh, actually this is no good so every once in a while, running through the middle here, I'm hitting like a 7. Even with the light right there, I'm still hitting a 7. I made this 6 wide. So uh, it's possible that I may need to, to rethink my dock dimensions. For this pier, I mean. this uh, For this pier, not a dock. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna try to work out this lighting issue for survival, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Quite a bit of work I did off camera, so I uh, actually extended these little skiffs that the boats dock on. I put a ladder here just so you don't have to hop out if you don't want to. I've got barrels. I also uh, put some trap doors here just to kind of break up the pattern a little bit. Also filled in with some moss cob just to break up that as well. And then I've got trapdoors on top of here, which I know may look a little janky, but just as you're walking around, uh, it makes the dock look a little bit more patchy. And I've even got them replaced on the sides so that the sides look a little bit uneven. And as you can see down at the end here, I've got uh, cargo stacked here. I've got some chests. They're empty. I could throw some stuff in here. I could potentially throw some fish and some fishing rods do some fishing off the pier here. Uh, use the ladder on this one, put another skiff right here. <laughs> and uh, that way I can get down here, uh, I can get in and out of the water here at least. If I'm out here on the pier, I can just jump off the end and swim back to there. So uh, this is looking pretty good. Oh, also I uh, went ahead and did what I was talking about earlier. I filled in, I tore up the top layer here and I filled in with mainly cobblestone, uh, but uh, trying to break up the pattern a little bit. Obviously I have to break it up a little bit more. Uh, so I'll come back and work on that some more later. Got some lights underneath some uh, gray carpets there and uh, obviously I'm going to need to put a couple more in this area and add some lights here to some uh, add some oh, green carpet here yeah let's see where would I put one here probably like at least right there for sure and um, I even hang some uh, some more lanterns in this area. I've got these little corner ones working at the corners here. I really like that. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick flight out just to show you what we look like. 
Yeah, looking really good, huh? Looking very seaporty. Now I'm going to have to repeat the same process over here. I think we're going to have another pier coming out here. And we may have another ship parked on it right there. And then, of course, we I think maybe we'll have like uh, even a couple buildings built down on the docks here. I'm thinking about maybe just kind of leaving this little corner right here and then putting a building right here. Although I'm not sure just yet what the purpose of that building would be. So I don't think I'm going to start building it just yet.
guys, this has been kind of a long episode and I don't have much time left to do my outro, but I just want to take another cruise by all my work that I did in this episode. Several small builds in one, if you actually think about it, all these docks happen to be built together. And there it is, the banner of my kingdom, the Eye of Ender, represented in banner format. And uh, over here in this area, the large blank area where I said I was going to leave a building right there, I've decided that I'm going to build a sawmill, including a tree farm. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like. Leave a comment with any feedback or questions you have. And please be sure to subscribe for more great episodes on my channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.